Hello! Let's get started straight away, shall we, today? Look at this! I'm not even that late! <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome back to Stardew Valley, but I run every step. Um, we're in autumn. What else can I catch? Wait, hang on. Did the stream just crash? <laughs> Was that a little stream crash chat? Have you refreshed? Are you back? Oh goodness, I hope that's not starting again. Anyway, I should do some warnings. Um, I'm doing this challenge for fun. I'm not doing it to lose weight. I'm not doing it to look better. I'm not doing it to run further. I'm not doing it to even necessarily take more steps i am doing it for fun and to move more i suppose it, that is kind of taking more steps but yes there we go lexi yes what what are your wantings from me was that a stream crash all good no crash okay it's just youtube on my end being being youtube i need to add some steps so let's do that first thing um we are on my 23rd run at this point I have 35 runs logged, so I, I need to run a bit more. But, um, boop, here we go. So this time I ran two kilometers, which is 2,221 steps, which if I... And then the new total is going to be... Let me just open it up. It's been a while since I've done this, actually. There we go. 56,212 is our new total. Uh, that is our upper limit. Dude is back. I was told to tell friends. <gasps> you have friends? <laughs> why, why don't I have friends? <laughs> it's like I double offended you because also you're my friend. Right, anyway. Let's let's move on. Just keep running. Yeah, so I, I, I actually... So in the UK... Let me let me start the game whilst I'm... Um, whilst I'm doing this. I'm sure I have to water plants or like something. Um, yeah, my goal at the moment, my short term goal is to start going back to park run. For those of you in the UK, um, you probably know what that is. If you're not in the UK, uh, it is a five kilometer. Oh, good. Are you, are you good, Princess Potato? She's been off for a bit. I'll explain why in a bit. But um, you run five kilometers with usually about 100 strangers. <laughs> And it's in like every park that's big enough to host it in the UK. So I, I want to work up to doing that. So that's that's going to help massively. Because at the moment, I'm just sort of running before my gym session as a warm up. <laughs> but um, I'd like to talk to people. So I want to do park run, but walk the whole thing. I've, I've seen people who have. Um, usually, to be fair, usually they have um, some volunteer that sort of walks at the back, if that makes sense um and people usually walk with them and have a chat just because they need to know when the race is, has officially ended <laughs> run around a park or walk or whatever you just enjoy yeah and i've, I've always said with this challenge as well if, if anybody wants to do any kind of step related stardew challenge in the future it can 100 percent be done with walking i just that wouldn't have been enough challenge for me personally um but yes this would be a fantastic challenge to do with walking as well and really it doesn't oh that's flowers it doesn't really matter whether you walk it or run it so yeah, in a bit, I will tell you guys about what I've done with my day because I I went to the city. I'm not going to say which city, but I I went to a city and uh, oh boy, it was stressful. And I've also got good news in, in terms of my personal life. So that's all good. Uh, let me take these to sell. Some people take their prams round. I've seen somebody overtake me <laughs> pushing not just a single pram but it was a double pram it was like a special running pram um i did used to do park run i, c I can say where now because um I w i'm no longer doxing myself i've done park run in cardiff when i was university there's more cities than just cardiff <laughs> in wales but yes um so cardiff was university so i did park run there and then nottingham <gasps> new baby joke and then nottingham was where we were living last and i did park run there with my friend a few times um names names for a chicken chick names <laughs> i don't think i'll do it as a poll uh well it depends if you guys can unanimously agree on something that'd be fantastic but yes there's chicken names name chicken or i'll just call it whales <laughs> There are three cities in Wales. There's Newport, Cardiff, and Swansea. Yeesh. Waffle. Waffle's a cute name. 
Chippy. Earwiff. <laughs> what is... Martin, you... Wait, so now am I... Hang on, right. M right, okay. We'll do waffle. <laughs> Earwig. Earwig. And Chippy. I know from university there is the place where everybody gets their um, late night food, let's just put it that way, is called Chippy Lane. <laughs> I've been to one of those cities. <laughs> you, I know you've been to Nottingham. What's it gonna be? What are you naming the chicken? What for lunch be your drawing? It's gonna be a weird stream, by the way. Whilst this vote is going on, I guess I'll tell you a bit about my day. I have a job i have a job everybody and i'm not saying youtube wait it says i've got wait it's bugging out the poll <laughs> the poll is bugging out but yeah i got a job i'm employed now um so but i've only got uh right you guys are drawing the vote votes somebody somebody split the vote um yeah i only have two pairs of jeans i've only had two pairs of jeans for a while now one of them, one of the pairs of jeans I hate, and then one of them is like my current favorite pair of jeans. <laughs> and um, you kind of need more than two pairs of jeans if, if you're working in customer service. <laughs> so I went to do that. Martian, look at you plugging stuff. Maybe maybe you'd also encourage people to split the poll. All right, I'm merging. Yes, no, wait, Waffle was winning for a second there. Wait, now Waffle and Chippy are drawing. Right, I'm going to end the poll. I'm going to end the poll and we're going to combine those two. <laughs> and I'll keep talking about my day in a sec. Um, Chipful. Are you guys okay with Chipful? Or, or Wappy? <laughs> Chipful or Wappy? We're voting on the chicken name, but at this point I've taken it into my own hands and I'm merging two of them. You like Chiffle? Urchin votes waffle. Okay. I did the vote thing. Okay. I like chiffle. <laughs> we'll go for waffle though. If you're if you're saying that urchin has a vote as well. You like chiffle? Okay. Chiffle. <laughs> Chiffle. Right. Chiffle it is. Hello! You have a very unfortunate name, but it, you you will be beloved and we'll probably never see you ever again because I am not a good pet owner. Um, I want a duck next, so boop. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I have a job. I went to buy a third pair- buy- I went to buy a third pair of jeans I can't speak. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I am not good with crowds or anything that is like overstimulating to my brain. <laughs> Which is everything. Everything is overstimulating to my brain. Ooh, I need food. So I managed to successfully buy a new pair of jeans, which is what I went there for, which is good. I'm not seeing any snackies. I also managed to buy a pair of work shoes because I also, I, I had work shoes, but at this point they, they, they graduated from work shoes to just normal shoes in the time I didn't have a job. And then they were the only shoes I wore for like four months. So as you can imagine, needed new ones, not really doing the job anymore. We need to go fishing. I have my fishing rod. Wonderful. Let's go catch some fish. And I need Limpy. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell chat that as well. <laughs> you do realise because they're gonna be the ones suffering. No, no, I can support it. It's like, it, just it, it should be fine. At the moment, it's in the green. I'll let you know if it's not. Ev is downloading Total War right now on the internet whilst I'm trying to stream. So if things get laggy, blame Ev. <laughs> yeah, if if I see if I see the um the kilobytes on OBS tanking, I'll, I'll everyone's saying hi by the way and saying send hey, our love. Hey. He says hey. <laughs> Vice says you're a handsome fella though. <laughs> stanky handsome fella. <laughs> Thank you, sir. He says he's stanky. I don't know if you guys are hearing this. Oh my goodness, I still had this on the screen. Well, I can brace myself with that when I edit the video. That's fine. No, I, I had a I had the steps thing on screen. Right, okay, I'm gonna play the game now and stream. Okay, bye. Bye, love you, bye. <laughs> Another way he came in just to be like, by the way, your stream might tank. 
happy music bulletin board i don't do quests for people because i can't do that and i don't care about the vanilla things and lewis is invisible he's like a ghost you can hear him wonderful right i'm skipping the rest of this did the skip button lie <gasps> who are you you're the piano man do 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 piano man where's come back i have hydration boosh there we go we should be fine my internet you know i'm not going to say that out loud and jinx it you guys can probably assume what i was going to say but at the moment we're fine <laughs> at least up and down on networks can work in parallel i mean i don't know ev ev is ev has right i think i've said this before he has a macbook which he thought he was going to use mostly as a macbook as as you would if you're buying one this was like uh five years ago by the way or six years ago he thought he was going to use it mostly as a macbook and then he discovered when we went to our university course that most of the programs he needs runs on windows so he's got a weird it's, it's like a mac but he's partitioned it but he's partitioned it badly and so it's trying to run windows even though it's an apple product and also he plays like ridiculously high resolution games and because he's running windows on a mac it doesn't recognize his graphics card and it tries to run in 4k and it's, it's all kinds of broken so whenever ev is downloading stuff he lets me know just just in case <laughs> just in case everything sets on fire <laughs> i am hunger but i need to catch some edible fish or else i have nothing to eat <laughs> Good job brain i'm doing so good today by the way well first of all that was sarcasm and second of all um is the music too loud too quiet is it is it good i should do, really do those checks at the start oh i should have eaten that sardine oh i really should have eaten that sardine my energy i was gonna catch another fish both your computers wants to be put out of their misery yeah but the difference is is I look after Princess Potato. I know I use her for streaming, but I make sure that like everything is kept on external hard drives instead of on her systems. Okay, I'll turn up music in just a sec. Um, you know, I I close down all of my other tasks before I'm streaming, so she's literally only focusing on the stream stuff. Um, I'm I'm good to Princess Potato, as good as I can be. You know, <laughs> I try not to overload her. There we go. I'll turn up the music. Uh, actually, I'll turn it up through Spotify like this there we go how's that it seems a smidge louder it's a bit boring music at the moment but that's fine it will change um yeah that's our computer situation but yeah i mean princess is just old princess is almost double the age of ev's mac which doesn't have a name as far as i'm aware well it's got a sticker on it saying brain, but that was supposed to be a reminder for him to use his brain and not the name of the PC. <laughs> Technically, I guess it could also be a name badge. <laughs> Come on, I need the PC. The good old first first stream day fish. Um, I was editing the Stardew Valley running video. Um, oh, an all non-edible fish. I was editing the Stardew Valley running video and then I realised that for whatever reason, even though it said that it downloaded my stream in HD, it wasn't. Um, so I've had to re-edit the first day, but I'm back up to where I was now before the blunder. Everything is, it's not high res, but it's, it, it's not excruciatingly painful to watch anymore. <laughs> At least I don't think so. It's better. It's better than it was. So... That should hopefully be next week. A tentative next week. <laughs> it's always next. <laughs> it's forever next week. But uh, next week, I'm also going to be streaming uh, Mario Galaxy and then probably Phasmo. I'm just, I'm so sorry. I'm so into Phasmo at the moment. <laughs> it's become an obsession. What else happened today? So I, obviously I got my work jeans and work shoes. Um... Oh, and we're having curry for dinner. There we go. There's my day. <laughs> Amazing. If you use a Mac solely as a Windows PC, you can get it working better, but it's a nightmare doing it. So at the time, like, don't get me wrong, Ev could probably do it better now. When he partitioned it, it was five years ago. So like the software he was using has probably come along a bit since then. And he probably knows what he's doing a bit better since then and, and all sorts. But also what I didn't say is I'm pretty sure he did a 
uh, one to four ratio split in terms of memory with the one being for Windows and the four being for Mac and he almost never uses the Mac. So it wasn't a good split either. It just <laughs> it generally wasn't. He didn't do a good job, but his PC hasn't exploded. It's gotten really close and who knows? He's booting up Total War right now. So maybe today is the day, but <laughs> so far it's been okay. Um, why did I just have a, a Happy's voice in my head saying Irene's birthday? Have I missed it? Surely I haven't. Maybe I've even given her a gift on her birthday. At least 50-50. Yeah, it was... He did not split it 50-50. <laughs> he split it very badly. Right, that's enough fishing. Come on, Limpy. Off we go. Carmen, you love sardine. <gasps> you love these two? You can... You know what? You can have the really nice one. Yeah. Don't talk to me about your ex-husband. Still don't want to know about him. Really genuinely not interested. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. I care more about you than about a person I've never met. <laughs> Jerick, water. Don't like you though. <laughs> not talking to you. <laughs> Poor Jerick. We established last time. He's not the worst. He's just really not the best. Let's go up to Ridgeside. I haven't even spoken to Pam yet. That's so funny. Um... I never will! I never will! Right, let me give the caravan train one, but I need to start from the back because otherwise they all sort of end up on top of each other in a pile and I can't give gifts to anybody. Spoken to everybody now. Speak to you again. A resident pianist? P pianist? Pianist! <laughs> you want to date Isabel? Okay. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Doodle, what's a fact that you know? That if you flip a shark upside down, it'll fall asleep. I've got so many more facts where that came from. <laughs> what, what other facts do I know? Most of them are like about animals and stuff though. I also know that uh, India used to be an island and that the Himalayas are from India smashing into the Asian continent at high speed. There's another fact I know. What are the random ones? I'm trying to dig from like different categories. You know, more like general knowledge quiz as opposed to what is this? Okay. I want so many more facts like that. <laughs> That's all of my general knowledge. I only know facts done oh there's a notice board up here too okay i might use this one i might is this the start of my notice board journey it looks rather tacky oh well whatever works i guess i do think it's a great idea from your brother lenny uh, okay i feel worse knowing it's lewis's idea don't tell me you stole the idea from lewis lenny <laughs> i sound an awful lot about like the other guy I'll have you know that I was there during the meeting and I asked if I can establish one for which side as well. It's all good. It literally doesn't matter anyway. I don't think Lois cares. <laughs> Why, hello, doodle. Just in time for the new surprise. We have jobs for you now. Aloha. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I need to... I need to see what's on it first before I decide if it's good or not because... It could be extremely cursed. It has the same schedule as Pelican Town's board. It'll probably start to receive orders by next week. Oh, got it. So I can't even look at it right now. So you guys are celebrating nothing. I expect you won't let anyone down. You get that, farmer? So so this notice board is for me. It's just for me. <laughs> it's only for me. <laughs> I love the way they're not even avoiding it. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. You're the only one. Right. All of the talking is going on. The Ridgeside Village board is a lot harder than the other one. Rats. Well, I never did the other one anyway because I found it too difficult. <laughs> but seriously, Doodle, do try your best with the orders. I'll be looking forward to working with you soon. I don't like the fact that Lenny is just laughing at the whole situation. Same here. <laughs> Have fun, everyone. Remember to check the board next week, Doodle. You've got an entire village, an entire two village, 
is worth of people all relying on you. I hope you're not the kind of person to put pressure on yourself and get stressed easily. <laughs> that would make this rather awkward of a thing to set up, huh? Oh dear. Oh goodness. Water. <laughs> Sorry, Lola, I'll be back. Isabel! Isabel! Isabel, blah, 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 blah. Here you go. Um, now I need to talk to you. Pianist, blah, 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 blah. Hello. I have many people to give gifts to. It's a Tuesday. Just hearing the blah, 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 blah. Who's next? <laughs> Hi, let me give out the water first and then I'll try to talk to people if I can. That's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? Hydrate yourself. Do 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 Hydrate yourself. Do 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 When you don't have water but doodle does. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> what rhymes with does? Oh, I could rhyme it with because. It's like a half rhyme. <laughs> Let me speak to him. I don't need anything, but I just needed to talk to you. <gasps> I didn't bring an apple for you. I'm not going to give her a gift today. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I'm not giving her a gift today because I think it's more worth waiting for, to give her a loved gift. <laughs> you love Lola. I don't think I've spoken to Lola enough, but she we had like a kind of creepy cutscene <laughs> the other week. Yeah, she seemed to be very into inquiring about my history. <laughs> That's fine. Hi! Take this. It is cool of me, yeah. Kenneth was showing me how to rewire a circuit board the other day. It seems fun, but I wasn't very good at it. You really just do- you are like the, the general- the handyman. What do you call it? Jack of all trades does everything <laughs> right i think i've given out a substantial amount of water today so maybe we'll run through the forage area on the way back yeah i've got enough room in my um in my bag hello maddie not too bad no you're right it's oh i'm uh, um, um this person gets paid to play piano in the background hardly sounds like a real job to me i have real bad news about what i'm doing right now <laughs> If she doesn't think learning to play the piano to a degree that you are considered an entertainer and playing in front of loads of people is a job, then I'd hate to think what she thinks of streamers. <laughs> oh dear. What, you just play video games and talk? Yeah. Look, you may have um, practiced piano for ages. I've been practicing talking my whole life. <laughs> That's not to say I'm good at it, but I put a lot of hours into that. That's 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 the only defense that I have for this. Okay, I'm not seeing anything down here. Sharks go into tonic immobility, a zombie-like state where they relax completely. Yeah. And you just flip them upside down and they go for a snooze. Well, it's not technically a snooze. Um trying to think of what other random facts I know. I'm sure there are so many of them and I, they're just my, my brain blanks. <gasps> Possum. Um, Vice, you know about the one about like um, otters fall asleep holding hands and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to dig deeper and find some more facty facts. Yoink. Yoink. Wow, this has been a really good haul. Look at all the stuff I found. Amazing. I love having this area because so usually as you guys know I like Stardew Valley expanded because I like the expanded forest. I don't even care about the expanded characters. <laughs> I just I just like the expanded forest. Um but having this area in Bridgeside also fulfills my foraging needs, so I don't mind so much. Boop. Sea otters, I think. None of my river artifacts are nice. They're adorable and incredibly violent. That sounds like jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Banana trees walk. I feel like maybe I knew that, but hearing it again makes me want to properly look it up. See what they look like, maybe. Right. What should I keep? Autumn drop berry. Okay. Well, we have some snacks. They increase mining. 
This is probably somebody's favorite gift, so I will keep these ones. And I'm gonna keep the berries for emergency snackies. And these are our fish for snackies. And that's an artifact. <laughs> and I'm gonna sell everything else, I think. Do I have seaweed? Obviously, I got one in my inventory, but do I have like multiple seaweed? Oh, I do. Let's let's eat those then after I've sold that stuff. Some plants scream when cut. Oh my goodness. The vegans. <laughs> <laughs> Say the vegans. <laughs> I didn't mean it in that way, I promise. <laughs> Let's move on. Dear me, I am hunger, but it's okay. Let, let me zoom right in and you guys can watch me demolish. So more seaweed than any human should really consume. Oh, it's tipping it down where I am today. Raining heavily outside. Hopefully it also rains in game tomorrow. And I need to check the calendar. I need to check it. I need to check it. Because I don't know whose birthday it is or nothing. It might be Jay, but I've only been around for river otters. Oh yeah, this, this is true. I'm sure, yeah, it's probably for ocean otters only. What other ones? Um, I know that there are some species of penguin where they partner up, for lack of a better term. Um, they make an egg and then they, the female penguin will abandon the partner and find another female penguin and like that doesn't have an egg and they'll just become like a little lesbian penguin couple and raise the egg together. <laughs> I can't remember what type of penguin it is. I always found it so funny that the penguin's like, mm. I don't need your help to raise raise it. <laughs> I know somebody who's gonna be better at raising it than you are. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's a bit of money. Most of my facts are about animals though, I will admit. They're the most light-hearted facts anyway. I mean, obviously some of them can get dark, but I don't think I need more steps. I think I'm good, as is. So, let me turn that volume back down just a smidge, just a smidgy widgy. Okay, do I have any more jam that I can sell? I do on a roll with this now. <clears throat> so I need more kegs. This was something that I was working towards. Well, I need kegs, sorry. I have preserved jars. Um, Cause look at all this coffee that we need. Ooh, I swear I got some pine oak resin. <laughs> Brain, work with me! Um, oh, I haven't unlocked kegs yet. Uh, I probably went through this last time and then just completely forgot. Farming, it must be level eight then. Must be farming level eight. <laughs> My kind of penguin. <laughs> yeah, the penguin's just like, sayonara. Um, Thinking, thinking, thinking with my brain. It is dangerous, dangerous. You think kegs are level nine? Oh my goodness. That's not fair. Uh, Marnie, yeah, sure. No promises, for sure. I'll, I'll, I'll promise. It's a lie, but I'll promise. Um, so what, I need to wait for some of this stuff to finish growing. Probably multiple times as well, if I need to get to level nine. I'm level seven at the moment. I'm sure more people usually focus on planting more crops. But the early game was so painful with not being able to get water that I didn't want to. And then after that, I've been skint. <laughs> I haven't had enough money. So we'll fix it. It's probably going to be a bit more of a chill session today because, as I said, I have I have done a day of doing things. You had to go look for Idiot Cat. You got lost in the field next door. Were you wandering around the field looking for him or did you just yell? Oops, I said him. <laughs> I know which cat it is. Nightbot! Oh my goodness, it's only 30 minutes after I started the stream. Nightbot, you're doing so great today, buddy. Head pats for Nightbot. <laughs> Always nice when he shows up. I mean, is this on time? I don't know. 
You only need to boil water for 10 minutes for it to be safe, though. Mm, I mean... Depends what you mean by safe, doesn't it? <laughs> How safe is safe? Okay, here we go. You had to go around the field. Purple mushroom! We need a purple mushroom for something. Probably the community center. It's for the community center. Do I need any other mushrooms for the community center? No, I could sell the rest. Or eat them. Um... I swear these mushrooms are probably used for something and I shouldn't sell them and people are going to be like No Doodle, you can cook them into amazing food! And I'm... I'm selling them anyway. <laughs> so, the other things I will need for kegs. Let me just look it up, hang on, hang on. Kegs! Stardew. Do, 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 do. What do I need? Wood, copper bar, iron bar, oak, resin. So, wood is 30. Iron bar, copper bar. Let me see how many I've got of those. Because I want to make sure that all the resources are ready so that when we can craft them, we can just craft them like straight away. Go boom, boom, boom. Loads. Loads of them. Also, I'm pretty sure we need the bars for community center stuff anyway. Do I have no iron bars at all? Do I have any coal? I do. I do. Right. So it might be kind of like a mining, chopping trees kind of a day today. Um, it'll be ice levels. So let me empty out my inventory and pick up some snackies. Didn't mean to pick up those. Uh, right, I need to leave that, 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 that. Oh, where's my hammer? There we go. Boop. Let's go! I have 40 iron bars. Where? <laughs> what? Mice? Are you lying to me? Are you are lying to me? Right, we learned from yesterday's Phasmo stream that I can gaslight my myself into believing anything. <laughs> so... I gaslit myself yesterday into thinking that Jazz didn't use a cursed object um, and in doing so accidentally ended herself <laughs> in game. I was just like, we were talking about it afterwards. Oh, that was a long hunt. <laughs> I was so convinced that she was pulling shenanigans and then I just convinced myself otherwise when she was like, no, it wasn't me. Dearie me. Okay. Ice levels, ice. Ooh! Ooh! When did I put these here? Okay! Wonderful stuff. So I have more things that I can take home with me. When does the ice level start? Is it 20? I think it is. No, I'm being really silly. <laughs> 40. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's the dark levels before the ice levels, isn't it? I need those soot sprites. There's none in here. No! I need you for coal! You're good, you're good coal munchkins, I'm afraid. Oh, speaking of coal, but with a D at the end, it's cold in here. Brr. There's tea in the mod and stew. As I said, I'm having curry for dinner. What are you lot having for dins? If you've already had dins, what have you had? And if you're going to have it, what is your current ideas of what it's going to be? Because why not? I like hearing about you guys' snackies. I also haven't really eaten anything today. <laughs> I have eaten a little bit, but I'm going to have like a huge dinner. We got poppadoms and naan bread and chicken thigh and it's gonna be goodness nom 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 where is this ladder excuse you there we go yay murder time <laughs> oh dear the creatures in this game must be so sick of me i do need more iron well i need more coal more than i need iron oh i am thirsting to death for once interesting it's been a while since that happened you had pizza. 
I am in the mood for pizza soon, but I, I'm done with cheap, nasty pizza. I want like proper nice pizza, so I think I'm gonna have to make it myself because I don't think there's anywhere even close to me that's gonna make nice pizza for less than 30 quid. And um, I want it cheap because I'm cheap and I'm stingy. Whoosh. Uh, although that being said, my new place of work, which I will be starting on Monday, Woohoo! Um, they do some pretty good food and they have vegan stuff as well. So there's stuff I can eat. It's not that I don't eat meat, it's the dairy. Dairy don't like me. Okay, on would we go. Pizza night at Larudo's. Pizza, pizza sounds amazing right now. I honestly would love to host a pizza, pizza night. Maybe we should do a community night at some point, but like... Everyone is either has to have pizza or pretend that they have pizza. <laughs> you know, I'll just I'll stream something really chill. Um maybe maybe it's kind of like a just talking stream, but like with a little game in the background. Either like Kingdom Two Crowns, so it's like super easy, or like maybe the Wobble Dogs, but on auto autoplay, because Wobble Dogs Oh my goodness, I can't say that word. Wobble Dogs has an autoplay function where the dogs just sort of do their own thing. <laughs> um, and we can just eat pizza together. Live stream it. I don't want to show my face eating pizza, but that's what I mean, yeah. We're, we're just, I'll draw doodle eating pizza. <laughs> and we can, we can um, have her on screen and we can all eat pizza together or pretend we're eating pizza if people don't have pizza. What if I have a slice of toast and cut it like a pizza? As long as in the stream you say that you're eating, eating pizza, then it's fine. <laughs> You know, I'm not gonna drive around your house. Well, first of all, I don't drive or, nor have a provisional license or have a car, so I wouldn't be doing that anyway. But I'm not gonna go around your house and be like, I knew it, you weren't eating real pizza, you were eating fake pizza. <laughs> so yeah, that's fine. I've never, I don't think I've ever eaten on stream before. <laughs> I have, however, eaten whilst playing video games with friends so i have eaten on mic before it doesn't actually my mic very rarely picks up the sounds of me eating i have been told which is good pizza toast is s tier student meal really no digestive uh biscuit digestive biscuit with some lactose free cream cheese lactose free oh my god i can't speak cream cheese on it and a little bit of jam it's like a, the cheapest cheesecake you can possibly make and they're bite-sized <laughs> i mean digestive biscuits are maybe slightly above bite size but you can you can pause it in one bite <laughs> you can make it happen you can make a deep dish pizza in your ca cast iron i like my pizza as thin as possible i like my thin crispy italian style stone bake pizzery goodness that's what I am here for. Okay, blackberry snacks over. Let's keep looking. You make tortilla pizza. I think I've had that like a while ago. The other thing that me and my mum used to make is phyllo pastry and puff pastry pizzas. Now they are really good. You just buy like the phyllo or puff pastry in a roll and then you put your cheese in your sauce or whatever else you want on it. Sometimes we make them into little parcels. So they're like little pizza parcels. It's also a great idea for cooking with kids because you know you don't really have to cook anything other than the putting in the oven at the end <laughs> they just are essentially placing things on a flat surface <laughs> you're always eating on mic slash muted because i don't like eating alone and don't want to eat in the canteen yeah that's fair that's why i watch youtube <laughs> and anime and various other things to keep me distracted me and ev have been re-watching avatar the last airbender because i watched it as a kid and i loved it like a lot and then cora came out and i wasn't too keen on cora it just didn't have the same vibes it like I, it's not a dig at the anything to do with the production itself i just wasn't my thing um and then i was like explaining that to ev and he goes oh i've never seen i've never seen um avatar the last airbender i was like you have a what and so i showed him the first episode and i thought he was gonna watch it with me and then like a week later i was like do you want to watch avatar the last airbender and he was like oh i finished it <laughs> 
what do you mean you finished it? And he goes, oh yeah, I finished it. And we're, we're re-watching it now. <laughs> so now we're both on the same page. We're both in the position of we've we've fully watched this before. I think he might have watched it several times. Ooh, no, I'm being slimed. Oh, there's a lot of rock in this cave. I might, I might use this as a rock collecting thing. You used to make pizza grilled cheeses. Pepperoni, pizza sauce, cheese, and spices prepped like a grilled cheese. Have... Uh, right. I have had... I don't think I've ever had a proper grilled cheese. I've kind of had grilled cheese. But it was in... Do you guys know those panini press things? <laughs> it was a very long time ago. And it was in one of those. And it... It wasn't bad, but I don't like it when my food tastes more of oil than anything else. <laughs> and that is, yeah, that's really what it is. That's all it is. I've only collected six coal. <gasps> Make that eight coal. Yay. Die. There we go. Get out of here, bat. It's fantastic the amount of work involved. What would be my go-to? I think pasta bake. Sausage and chorizo pasta bake with courgette and bell pepper and onion and mushroom in it and loads of cheese on top would be my lazy one. And you'd be like, oh, doodle, that's not lazy. Trust me, the way I prepare it is. <laughs> um, and also, if, if you're watching this stream live or after the fact and you're Japanese, you may want to cover your ears right now. I also make really lazy ramen where I do it all in one pot, like <laughs> like the vegetables and egg and noodles, like everything in one pot. And then I just like turn the heat off and put miso in at the end. <laughs> probably some people are like, what? <laughs> it's really good. I mean, it's probably not good for you, but it tastes good. Hello, lemon. Crime against ramen. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it tastes better than normal ramen. It absolutely doesn't. It does. It does definitely does not even hold a candle to it. But sometimes, sometimes you just need mediocrity, you know. <laughs> sometimes I'll put pak choy in it, but again, it's all being cooked in one pot. I'm not doing that separately. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Speaking of not having time, it is ten past ten. So should probably think about heading back so I don't get trapped in here. I haven't taken too many steps yet, have I? No, I'm good. You've never had proper ramen. I technically have never had proper, proper ramen either. I've I've been to Wagamama's, which is... But it's, it's, it's all a hybrid over here. In England, there is no such thing as authentic food. <laughs> Everything gets uh, watered down by Englishness. So people will be like, oh, this is like proper authentic curry and it's like is it though or it's proper proper authentic japanese food is it though no i don't think any of it is <laughs> all of it gets englishified <laughs> yes but i like cooking a lot of my food at home anyway because i like putting lots of spices and stuff especially i mean i've had to tell me to tone it down at some points because like my entire meal would taste of like ginger or garlic or something and he's like no no you need you need to balance it better but i've gotten better i think at least i don't think i've traumatized him since since that ginger one <laughs> great food in london because it's very diverse yes i'm not saying that if food isn't authentic it's bad i'm just saying it's not authentic, you know. That's that's all I'm saying. I don't get me wrong. I enjoy non-authentic food massively. I love a good curry. And if I went to the fish and chip shop and I ordered curry sauce with my fish and chips and I got authentic curry sauce, I would it would be weird. We need we need our stodgy British things, okay? <laughs> so I'm not saying they don't have a place, but yeah, I'm just saying I'm not claiming to have ever had authentic ramen or authentic anything. <laughs> He's awesome. He's so cute. Alright, I need to get home. I'm gonna pass out. No! No, 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 no. Slime's everywhere. No, they have, they have been my demise before, but not today. Right, we should be safe now. So what can I put in here? Let's put these in here. Let's sell some flowers. 
Let's sell some... I want to use jade for stairs at some point. Mm, um, these. And that's it. <laughs> Curry sauce is beautiful. Me and grandma love that stuff. Me and Ev have a pot each. When, whenever we get fish and chips, which is about once per month. Because it is. It's it's glorious. <laughs> People not in the UK are like, why would you have curry sauce with fish and chips? And it's great, okay? Just go and make sure it's the right one. Curry equals life. I couldn't eat it every day though. I do really love it, but I couldn't eat it every day. Whereas pasta, think of how varied pasta is. You got pasta salad, you got pasta bake, you got lasagna, you got orzo, which is essentially rice, but it's actually pasta. It's pasta disguised as rice. <laughs> I could I could probably come up with a way to eat pasta every single day in in you know <laughs> obviously I'd have to have other things with it princess you good <laughs> you, you, you good princess I don't what is poutine <laughs> um I need to add steps as well I think so let me just work out boop there it is right we need uh run 24 boop here we go so i ran 1.92 kilometers which is 2153 steps which brings our new total hang on let me do the wibblies first <laughs> And boosh. Brings our new total to 58,365. Have you seen the deep fried pasta? No, I haven't. But if you remember, I did just... I, I said that I, I don't like it when things taste more of oil than anything else. <laughs> so, all that being said, I mean... I don't know. It's a tricky one. But no, I, I haven't heard of it. And now that I have, I bet you it was the Scottish. Was it the Scottish? It was the Scottish. You don't need to answer the question. I know it was. Where is my watering can? Hello. Whoa, suddenly it was daytime. <laughs> Good to know all my mods are working perfectly. Boosh, daylight. Okay. Okay. See, that's why you put vinegar on your chips and cheese and curry sauce and salt. <laughs> that's I genuinely do all of those things though. Don't call me out like that. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't usually do all of them at the same time. You know, it, it would be salt and vinegar or cheese or curry sauce for me. <laughs> and it depends as well. Curry sauce is a specifically chip shop thing. That is, that is for fish and chips only. <laughs> Deary me. No one's, no one's going to explain to me what poutine is. Vice, you'll have to send me a picture on Discord of what poutine is. <laughs> I'm sure we've had this conversation before and I've just blanked it, so sorry about that. Deary me. I should speak about something that isn't food. What, what should we do today? I really need to get it into my head that your chips are different from my chips. Yes. No, I'm serious. I don't know what poutine is. <laughs> I'm deadly serious. <laughs> well, not deadly. I don't think I should be deadly serious over poutine. How dare you attack my culture like that? Vice, the amount of times we have said things and you've been like, what's that? And we've had to then do a lengthy explanation for you. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave the mushrooms in here for a bit. They can just cycle. What should I do today, Limpy? What should I do? What should, what should I do, Ings? So do something productive for once. Okay. I need to go and see Irene. Boop. To give her her first gift of the week. Poutine's like the one thing Canadians have, isn't it? <laughs> it makes it even funnier that I have no idea what it is. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, Vice. I didn't realize it was of such cultural significance. <laughs> Lexi! What on earth are you posting? It's just topping to chips. Okay, I've been sent an image by Vice. I'm gonna look it up. If you guys also want to look up what poutine is, if you don't know, this is the time to do it. I'll just do a very quick pause. Oh, yeah, it's what Lexi's saying. <laughs> it's just chips with stuff on. I mean, it's a culturally significant chips with stuff on. <laughs> right, Vice, you may decide to not be my friend after this. Um, I don't think it deserves to have its own special name. <laughs> <laughs> it's just chips with stuff on. <laughs> Surely. Why has it got its own specific name? Some people say it needs cheese curds, but I don't subscribe to that. Oh, you know what I don't subscribe to? Long, long cutscenes. Hello. I think this one's doing well. Wonderful. I am here to nosy into your business. Also, what are cheese curds? <laughs> Doodle, good to see you. Sure, other people don't agree. Visiting the village today? I am. I'm going to see Irene and convince her to love me. Well, it's good to see that you seem adjusted to the valley. My wife seems to be as well, but I don't think I can say the same for myself, you see. Very young. I ordered a loaded fries at Spoons and was handed an abomination. <laughs> spoons. I want, I want you to repeat the sentence again. You ordered loaded fries at Spoons. <laughs> I think I forgot how to talk to people around here. Anyway, my wife and I have been away for so long that I don't quite know how to start conversations with old acquaintances anymore. Okay, it's easy. You go, hey, long time no see. Oh, it's been, what, 15 years? There we go, and you're talking. I wasn't really much of a social butterfly back then. I think it still applies today. What do you think? You're chatting with me just fine. I think you just need practice. You are quite weird. I would like a fourth option, which is basically me saying, have you heard of masking before? <laughs> I Or, or maybe I could summar summarize it down to fake it till you make it. I think you need practice. Yep. Yep, yep, I guess so. I guess so. Sorry, I sound like a woman there. Well, we're kind of talking now, so it's a start. No, no problems, no problems, sorry. My, my vo our voices are blending into each other. Thank you for the small talk, Doodle. And here's something that I hope can help you. Tree fertilizer. It's just an extra fertilizer. Wait, tree fertilizer exists now? Okay, well, that was a short cutscene, so I don't mind it too much. Also about the one thing Canadians have doesn't hit hard after being on the land for a few days. Yeah, I mean, some of the, the stuff that you send us is extremely pretty. Like, I love the UK, however, there isn't really so much of a thing as being completely in the middle of nowhere. Like, from it doesn't really matter, unless you're like in the middle of Scotland or something, like in the middle of nowhere. Generally speaking, in the UK, you can walk for half an hour and you'll find a farmhouse. Or, or you'll find something, you know? There'll be something there. Because um, it's not that big. Right, I'm slowly making my way to Irene. You used the tree thingy. Does it just make it grow faster? I'm assuming. Tree grow fast. Oop. I haven't planted any trees. <laughs> uh, Irene. Oops. Sorry, I just picked a hole in your floor. Oh, Irene, where are you? Are you in this house? Probably could have checked on the map. I'm doing the loop. I'm using my steps. There she is. Let's zoom back in. Sorry about the brain, Hurty. Ah, my brain. You get a glass of water first. Oh, it's your birthday. Well, hi, Irene. Here's the gift that you love. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you love it. Are you making bread? It looks fantastic. And also, you look fantastic. Uh, by the way, happy birthday and um, goodbye. <laughs> fast grows got it i'm also american i just saw that i do think that the message 
got misinterpreted a bit. More so... Oh, I, I'm sorry, that's scrambling my brain. I'm gonna have to read that <laughs> later. <laughs> my brain is, is seeing a lot of words. Right. What do you guys think I should spend my money on? I have over 10,000 gold rigus and I could use it to upgrade my house and get a kitchen. Hmm. Kitchen. That's currently like up there. Or I could use it to get a barn. Barn is always nice. Or I could use it to upgrade some of my tools. Many options. But I'm going to leave it up to you, you lot, chat. Or I could use it to buy a shit load of crops. But my watering can is currently very not up to standard. Let's just put it that way. It's not It's not great. Went out with Paula last night. Had a great time. Okay. <laughs> so not interested. <laughs> right. I do need to find out Irene's birthday. I said I was... Right, there's nobody over here. I said I was going to go and check the community board. I'm sure there must be a calendar here as well. Surely. Surely. Surely, surely. Oh, yes. No. Help wanted. Uh, wait, what do you need? An iron bar. Oh, that's a nice easy one, but there's there's no... No calendar. <laughs> Sadness. Woo! This way. Birthday hydration for the child makes you grow bigger. I don't think it makes you grow bigger, but it'll make you more awake. <laughs> Does water make you grow bigger? I suppose if you don't drink water, you die. So then there's no potential for growing bigger. <laughs> Deary me. Right. Oh, if I've missed Irene's birthday, I'll be so sad. Does Abigail go up to Ridgeside? Is that where she's going right now? Lenny? You're jittering a little bit. <laughs> Lenny? Are you... Lenny, are you okay? She's okay, she's okay now. She's she's right at herself. Oh, can you move? Let me look at the calendar. There we go. Okay. Doesn't look like it's Irene's birthday. Oh, Carmen and Robin share a birthday. That's cute. I'd do the help wanted things if there wasn't a time limit. Yeah, this is true. I would also would. But then also I'd end up with like 50 trillion help, help wanted things. When is Irene's birthday? Irene Ridge side. When is your birthday? Winter 27. Absolutely ages away. I need to make sure that she has an apple for then, but that is fine. I might go chop down some trees, I think. Um, or do like some farm related chores the rest of the day. Abigail likes to stand at the bus stop in autumn. Okay. It's just because she like kept going north. Where is she? Let's see if I can find her. Oh, you're there. Well, I'm not going to talk to you because I don't care. There's only room for one purple haired person in this valley. And I don't count Rasmodius because he's not a person. <laughs> he's something else. Poor Raz. Actually, I'll take that back. I don't care. We have we have history and not the good kind. The kind that makes me not want to see his face. <laughs> but the farm is looking a lot nicer now that it's autumn. I'll zoom all the way out once I'm done chopping a couple of trees so we can have a look at it. Uh, also, I need food. So I will eat food. Nom, 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 nom. I should go back in the house and get more. Maybe we'll finish up the day by fishing or something. I'm basically just... Ugh, it's the wrong tool. I'm basically just trying to like stock up everything so that when our levels catch up, because I want to make kegs, I want to make coffee, I need to make friends with all the villagers, I need to upgrade my tools, I need a house so that I can cook. Cook the foods. What else do we need? I don't think I'm going to do a horse. I think, I think I'm banning horses in this series. I was thinking about allowing it, but then I think it's going to overcomplicate the whole steps thing. I thought dude is an elf. I can be an elf and a person. I didn't say human, I said person. <laughs> I think personhood uh, goes above fantasy species. <laughs> so, uh, also Raz is not a person. 
<laughs> but yes, I am an elf. Sort of. Deary me. I thought dude was merfolk, only for a little bit. It was it was like a fever dream that we had for about a month. <laughs> it was a collective fever dream that we all had. We also kind of had like a fever dream that the branding on the channel changed and maybe the name changed a few times as well. They were all fever dreams, every single one of them. <laughs> right, let's do some in the house stuff. Let's see what I've got going on. So I have a lot of seeds. So I, I could probably craft up some snacky bars, which would make my life easier, but it's the acorns that I'm short on. So I can only make seven. Is there anything else I can use the seeds for? Probably not. I'll make those six, seven snack bars or whatever. You can always get more by chopping trees elsewhere. Eat these, num 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 num. They were lenses into alternate realities. I thought dude was a bot. Um... Nightbot is a bot. Am I a bot? Would I know? Do you, do you guys think I'm in the position that I would know if I was a bot? I feel like I would probably know. But who knows? Right. I hate to say it. And this is probably the point at which everyone is going to leave the stream. I'm going to do some inventory management because this is ridiculous. There is like wood in every single chest it's it's madness okay this is this is not how anything should should look so let me pick everything up that i can and then we're going to try and sort stuff in a somewhat more meaningful way kind of like not really i'm gonna cram everything into these two chests make sure that everything is stacked on top of one another and then i will sort everything okay oh i can't even stack everything <laughs> painful it's painful i don't even need a lot of this stuff like i'm just keeping all the eggs so that when i get a mayo machine i can go ham oh maybe i can make an in a, a mayo machine and he said maybe i can make an inventory management <laughs> maybe i can make a mayo machine that's something that i haven't considered okay right so that's everything in my inventory now i switch that with that and then switch that with that and then I can make new chests. Yay! You're moving, you're moving. Chests are going here. Boosh, boosh. And I think I want one more. Boosh. There we go. Right, so this is gonna be seeds and crops and stuff. This is going to be forage plants and stuff. Let's start with those. So these are like the ones that uh, I found on the floor, I guess. And these are the ones that I actually harvested myself. Yes. Okay, this is a good system so far. This is going to be my general MacGuffin's chest. So that's like wood, stone. Oh, that one's empty. Wood, stone, all that stuff. Let me sort out the chests that I've done so far in the first. Any more in here? Yes, seeds and such. What can go back? These can go back. These can go in. I'll get them back out later. That is food. Anything else in here edible in terms of croppage? Do you need all the seeds and stuff as well? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Sorry about this. <laughs> yeah! Inventory management time! <laughs> That's how I imagined that being said. All right, that's a crop. That's a crop. That's not. These are crops. Technically, they're just not grown yet. And boop. And oh, these are crops as well. No, that's not a crop. Boop. And then douche, douche, douche. Organize. Douche, douche organize right we're on a roll we're on we're on a chest sort and roll <laughs> right stone um and i think i'm also gonna put like my ores in that chest but not my precious stuff not my gems and stuff they're gonna have their own chest because there's a lot of them so copper bars coal 
clay, fiber, hardwood, sap. Uh, anything else that I would consider general MacGuffins? I'm really introducing like clear boundaries here, aren't I? <laughs> That's sarcasm, I'm just not at all. Right. So these can go in here now. There's all the wood that I harvested, and that, and that, and that, and that. Organize. Wonderful. What is left? What is left? So monster stuff. So this is going to be monster stuff. It's going to be like a dark chest because monsters are spooky. Listen to what you're saying as you put things in chests. I'm, I, I'm, I don't think I can speak and organize chests and pay attention to chat and keep track of what I'm saying at the same time. <laughs> have I said things wrong? Have I said things that have come across as, as not, not great? <laughs> it's a very me thing to do. Get can gets cancelled whilst organising <laughs> chests. Uh, right, I'm also going to put all the trash in, in the monster chest. I think. Anything that has the that trash uh, tag. Can all go in here. Bush, bush. Bush, 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 bush. Bush, bush. There we go. What else? That's monsters. That's monsters. That's not. Thinking with my brain is dangerous, dangerous. Uh, right, we're nearly there. It wasn't actually that hefty of a chest sorting adventure. I thought it was going to be much worse. And we have some gold ore as well. Okay, so now this one can be the equipment chest. Equipment chest will be light grey. So I just need to take everything that I don't consider equipment out of here. I think bombs I would count as equipment. Spinner I would count as equipment. That charm would count. Stick this in here as well. And then the last one for now is just going to be everything else. <laughs> Like, I'll sort it. I'll probably do an extra chest as well. No, no, no. I need to split this up in some way. Right, how can I split this? Obviously, seeds and stuff. These can go in forage. That can go in seeds. Because I technically found these. <laughs> so I, I'm counting them as forage. You want a mod that makes unlimited items in chests and you just dump it all in one chest. Well, just like the, the biggest chest that's ever existed. That would be a good idea. That says trash. That says trash. These count as seeds. Come on, I can do this. I can sort this. I can sort this with my brain. Uh, no. <laughs> I believe, I believe I can sort it. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Nope. The monster chest. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Okay, now we are on a roll. So at the moment we have like snackies and other stuff in here. I think I would like a precious chest maybe? And then that one can stay random. Right, I need wood. We'll make a precious chest for precious gems and, and such. Actually, let's just do this. Let's just do an extra chest here. Oh yeah, I need wood. One, two. <gasps> just made five chests are you kidding me why am i so bad at this okay well the chests are going in the random chest i guess and then we have precious minerals and geodes and such going in that one shrek 2 is finished congratulations you have now watched double shrek you have you've been double shreked artifacts can go in there as well magnet ring counts as equipment that counts as equipment and then this should all be fine in terms of being a random chest. Boosh. Your equipment. Your equipment. And you are all kind of precious items, maybe. Purple, because purple is the best colour. <laughs> with your brain, with your brain, solve it, solve it with your brain. It's it's me begging. <laughs> it's me begging my own brain to actually do some work for once. It's not difficult, brain. My brain's like, it is, it's so hard. Okay, let's get out some basic stuff for tomorrow. Yay! I, I know it looks chaotic in here, but we have now officially sorted chests. Are you proud? 
you don't have to be you don't have to lie to me um i do need coal there we go let's get some more of that smelting on the go yay and now i'm going to bed <laughs> is it a waste of a day i don't know but we sorted the chests so i'm feeling good about myself oh Remember to hydrate, like in real life. I'm awake, and I don't think I need more steps. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna have to be careful about how many steps I use today, but I th think it should be fine. We also need to kind of prepare for the autumn fair, because that's another opportunity where I can make friends with all the villagers at the same time. Um, does anybody have any guaranteed ways that I can win first place <laughs> at the fair? knowing what you know about my farm obviously i'm growing pumpkins there will be three hopefully fingers crossed three gold star pumpkins um but other than that i don't know what to put in there i know you need to sort of like get things from different maybe i should go fishing maybe i should find a gold a iridium sorry quality something would that be the best way i could buy the next fishing rod now i could buy the, the best fishing rod now actually as much variety as you can. Some gold slash iridium good fish are good. <laughs> what counts as a good fish? Just not like a carp or something. Not that I think carp are in this season. Iridium slash gold ore, depending on where you are. Okay, so I could try and get to gold levels before then. Interesting. Maybe I do that today. Maybe I try and get to gold levels today. Bars, not ore. Yeah, that's why I'm like... <laughs> cooking cooking requires upgrading the house oh my ear is glitching in and out did you see that it was glitching in and out from oh now it's back over the hat anyway we have grown bok choy let me put it in here for now and i'll put this in here for now as well i think right no 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 they're crops they're crops so they go in the crop chest Doodle, you literally just did this and you're already shoving things in random chests. Where's, where's my, where's... <laughs> I'm grabbing some fish and we're going back to the mines and I'm getting to the gold levels. And I'm taking my snack bars with me. Yeah. Gold iridium fish like a catfish or something. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a catfish in autumn and I don't think I have one left over. So if anybody knows what the... In quotation marks best autumn fish that i am capable of catching is you put in nine purple prismatic shards in and got an absolute max score it's good to know though it's good to know for people who do have end game saves <laughs> of which i have never had as you guys know i have only gone to ginger island in two saves stardew valley is a witch and I think I managed to right at the end of the 100 day survival series. <laughs> like around day 130 or something. Okay, I've got some more snackies in here. Let's see if I can make it to gold levels today. I don't know if I can. I'm going to eat some food first. Maybe a chub. That's the river fish, isn't it? Catfish is an autumn fish. Wait, isn't catfish the, the rainy spring fish? Is it also in autumn? Am I... Look, I don't usually do fish in Stardew, okay? <laughs> So I am not well read on the stardew fish. So any any point is helpful. There we go. I just needed the coal. Coal for my soul. But okay. Maybe a day of fishing is in our future and I will have to get a better fishing rod for it, I think. Sadly. Mods. What about mods? I like mods. Rainy spring and autumn. Oh, oh, it has to be raining in autumn. So if it rains between now and the festival, I should go fishing again. I didn't know that. I thought they were spring only for some reason. <laughs> you couldn't touch me, Mr. Ghost. I was too quick. Speedy. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Gotta get to gold levels. Don't think you understand. I have a festival to win. Not not to win the festival, but because of the friendship parts. I'm trying to make friends with every Ridgeside Village character and it's going to help so much. Right, let me let you two through. So I need you for coal. 
Youp, youp, youples. Nothing. That is sad. Ah! No! I'm too weak to deal with you right now, ghosty friend. Not helpful. <laughs> I swear I remix the mines. Why is there like nothing of any use whatsoever in any of the chests? It's just, it's almost like it's not being remixed. I swear I remixed it though. Oh, don't need to break that. <clears throat> don't need to, so won't. Yay! <clears throat> You can grow shards in your crystallarium thingamajiggy and magic mod can increase star rating of items. Oh. I do kind of want to do another magic related stardew series at some point, but I just, at this point, I'm really enjoy en <laughs> enjoying. I'm enjoying doing challenges that nobody else is doing. Um. And, you know, at some point, maybe somebody will do a Stardew Valley running challenge like this. But um, at the moment, I kind of like coming up with new ideas that, that I haven't seen done before because it keeps my brain interested, you know? <laughs> you know? But then again, I'm like, oh, look at all the magic mods. And look at all the mods that weren't out last year when I started. Wait, I say last year when I started the Stardew Valley as a witch series. That was almost two years ago. <laughs> maybe two years ago in June. That's scary. We're gonna have to do a two year celebration for me being on YouTube because I didn't do a one year celebration of being on YouTube and goodness knows I need to celebrate it at some point. <laughs> um, so that will be a thing that I try and do. I should have brought my bombs with me. I have bombs and I didn't bring them, which was a foolish move to make. All right, you can attack me if you want because I'm out of here. Boosh. Boosh. I also, at some point soon, need to check out the 1.6 Stardew mods. Because I've been staying away from it. I, I, I don't even fully know all the stuff that came out in 1.6. But I know that the uh, mod creators for Stardew, they've been going ham. Absolutely wild. I've been hearing about it from Pappy, who is also pretty invested in the Stardew modding thing. Scene? Which... <laughs> Would you call it a scene? I don't know what you'd call it. Excuse you, where are the stairs? This is so rude. You should give me stairs straight away. I've run around this whole level now. There's just skeletons everywhere. Stairs. Stairs for me. Please, stare me. Any rocks up here? Any rocks for me? Any tasty rocky news? Not really. This is painful. Magic not yet updated to 1.6, so 1.5 game only. Yeah, well, I'm. That's why I've like held off on on. Oh, there we go. That's why I've kind of held off on looking at the Stardew mods for 1.6 yet, because I know it's not quite where I want it to be yet in order to like make a proper mod pack. Um, but it's getting there. It's gonna get there. It's gonna be good. Nexus has a tag for 1.6. Yeah. I will 100% look at it. Maybe I should look at it on stream, actually. Looking at unvetted mods on stream, that might be a little bit dodge. <laughs> but yeah, maybe, maybe I'll look at it in more of a Discord related thing. <laughs> Me when I'm a little goblin looking for rocks to eat. Where's those tasty rockies? It's the stairs I'm really after. That's what, what the diet that Doodle lives on. Hello, sorry. I just got those stairs right in front of you. That seemed very rude. You have some ease of play slash lazy mods installed already. Nice. I do like automate and, and other things. I I mean, as you know, I like getting that balance between making the game easier in some ways and in other ways, making it so that I want to uh, pull my hair out and, and destroy everything. <laughs> Hence, you know, survivalistic and, and the Stardew Challenge Wheel series that I did and this whole running thing. <laughs> I'd like there to be an element of why am I doing this to myself involved. Alright, bat, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Ah! Hello, bat. Come back. Thank you, thank you. I'm so close. 
so close to the gold levels. I can smell all that gold. I can also hear and see many skelly bobs. No! Let me get the stairs. Please. I was doing so well and now you've taken all of my stairs from me. It's not fair. I also don't like the fact that I've got more coal when not looking for coal than I did whilst I was specifically looking for coal. That hurts. They were like single filing to me. It's quite funny actually. <laughs> no! Stop throwing things at me. It's so rude. Okay, wonderful. Let's keep going. Stairs, 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 stairs. Oh no, I'm slimed. <laughs> okay, I'm still fine. I've got loads of health left. Oh, they were right there. No wonder it wasn't. I'm mad. Burglar's ring is great for coal. 500 dust sprites. Well, we'll get there someday. <laughs> I find it extremely sad that, um, oh, hang on, hang on. I was gonna say, I find it extremely sad that they only give you that after killing 500 dust sprites. Right. Here we go! Here we go! Templar's Blade. 22 to 29 damage. Yes, it's better and it's faster and it's, it's a sword, people. We have a sword and it's, it's not utter trash. Like, it's not great, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not it's not fantastic. But it's it's not utter trash anymore. Mucho on the excitage. Finally. Oh my goodness. Push. Oh, I need water, do I? Come on, I need gold before I go home. That's where I came here for. And I've got two in my inventory, but I've only got two at home, so that's not even one bar yet. But I'm pretty sure that was the last of my snackies I just ate, so... Oh, I have purple mushrooms, but I'd rather not use those. They're, they're better used for other things. So for now... <gasps> Gold! Always believe in your soul. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Hello, spooky void man. No, no spooky void man. No, I just hit the gold. No re reason or need to attack me. I'm harmless unless you come for me right now. I mean, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I will specifically come for you, but right now I am harmless. Oh no. Eh. 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 This isn't going well. Eh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them. They're so much stronger than me at the moment. I'm such a weak little piddly armed armed elf. Ah! Ah! They take off so much health now. Come back. Come back. Come back again. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see if I can get some stairs here to some more gold. But I am nearly out of energy now. I will not be eating those mushrooms, so I will just go home when it's done. We have enough for two gold bars, which isn't really enough for anything useful, but you know, it's something. Maybe someday I'll be able to um, make sprinklers. No, I think that's it. Okay, well, we can come back to the gold levels whenever we want now. That was a considerable amount of levels in the mines, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. And we almost brought all the stuff back <laughs> we left some sap in there that's fine uh i can sell this at the adventurers guild now level three level five yeah it's way better oh it closes at 10 p.m goodness sake barely open at all it's so rude and there's bubbles right there and i want to fish in it but i don't have my fishing rod gosh it is cold i might have to go get a little blanket hang on I'll get home first. How many more steps have I got? I'm still fine for steps. There we go. Sorry, I just had to check and nearly ended my life in doing so. That was scary. Not smart. <laughs> oh, right. Tomorrow is Saturday, so I need to make sure I go to Ridgeside specifically to give Irene tasty apples. Um, 
I should probably sell some of this stuff, but we're not going to. Not right now. Let's just get it all in these chests, shall we? So, what else in here would class as precious? That would. Um, let me smelt up some gold bars by doing it this way. There we go. So now that'll be gold that's smelting, I think. It should be. Maybe it's not. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Slowly losing my mind. So, coal, 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 coal. This one. Boop. And then monster stuff is this one. Boop. And then foraging stuff is this one. Boop. And then eggs is in the random chest. What's grey has four legs, pointy ears, and a cute nose. Little grey doggy. Little grey doggy. I'm assuming. Maybe. Where's the equipment chest? Is this one in it? There we go. <laughs> Bone in Squatch Marlow. <laughs> what on earth? so confused as to what that is oh we leveled up um i don't know which one to go for gems appear in pairs or plus one or per vein probably plus one or per vein maybe but then core is <laughs> coal that was a cross between ore and coal coal is the problem at the moment so maybe geologist hmm i'll leave you to decide for for two seconds chat i'm just gonna run and get a blanket because i am so cold right now um and then i'll, I'll reach out and decide from what you say be right back I return it. I return it. I have a dressing gown over my legs and a blanket over my shoulders. It was so cold. You say minor. We'll go for minor then. We will go for the mining one. Thank you very much for your patience. Um, I should probably add some steps. Let me just wrap this blanket slightly tighter. There we go. Let's add some steppy weffles. Jadouche. So, we are on run 25. We are speeding through. This one was a very short run. As I said, these are warm-ups. So, let me copy this. So, I ran exactly one kilometre, which is, very unsatisfyingly, 1,586 steps. So, we're going to... And then our new step limit, not quite there yet, is 59,951. And I need to remove this. Remembering to do it. Yeah, buddy. Wonderful stuff. Now, unfortunately, our farming level hasn't uh, gone up yet, which kind of sucks. I need my watering can. And also, it's not raining. <laughs> Opening every chest other than the one that I needed. Oh, and it's daytime. Good morning, Limpy. We have eggplants. More eggplants. I planted them in different places, apparently. That's a very me thing to do, isn't it? Now, I need to use this money for something, I think. Um, fishing rod, house. Fishing rod, house. I should, I should probably do the house, right? Because as soon as I can cook, it's going to massively streamline the whole I need to catch and eat raw fish thing. So... <laughs> So maybe today we go and have a look at the house whilst we are heading to Ridge Ridgeside. Speak, Doodle! <laughs> oh yeah, thank you, Lady Lexi. And also, if you're enjoying, please give the stream a lick. It helps so much. And I haven't said it yet. And has Nightbot said it yet? Nightbot, are you alive? <laughs> He's like, I don't work. 
Limpy can come with me. The first part of this, anyway. Hey, Limpy. We also need to go to Pierre's and buy some seeds, so this is going to be a spending day. I went shopping in real life, and now we're going shopping in the game. Weedle, hello! Welcome, welcome. Let me put these aubergines away. That's not the aubergine chest, is it? You just went for purple, because you saw purple. Although that being said, I may sell some of these. Like, I need to keep one of them. But I'm thinking I sell some of them to Pierre. So I'm going to sell these to Pierre. I want to keep the pepper poppers because... Yeah, no, I need a house. I need a house. Oh, no, I also need a barn, though. If I want to make pepper poppers, I need cheese. I need cheese, Limpy. Limpy? Limpy? Thank you, thank you. I need to take the wooden stone with me, I think, just on the off chance that I can actually buy the house today, because who knows? That's not the wood or stone chest. Good job. Who knows? There we go. One point six me something for a kitchen. Jo jo Joan is sing. Jo Joins is sing. Jo I forgot an apple for Irene. Okay, we'll do that in a bit. We'll, we'll, we'll go and we'll go shopping first, and then in the afternoon slash evening. Ooh, hello. There we go. Um, afternoon slash evening, we'll go to Ridgeside. Is what will happen. Pierre. You all right, Ed? No. No. I'm good. Okay, apparently he's fine. Excuse the sound of my mic as I put it back into position. <laughs> F just ran upstairs and I I was checking he was okay. All right, let's sell these. And then I need something that's not going to take too long to grow. Maybe bok choy? I think it's eight. Maybe it's ten. Maybe it's eight. But maybe it's ten. Ah, we'll see. <laughs> I'll have to have a look. It's Saturday. This is his day off. Wait, who's day off? The electrician dude. Nope, don't need to go in there. Right, we're going up to Robin's. That was the first thing I needed to buy. Fishing rod also kind of on the table, but more so buildings. Need buildings. Yeast Limpy. New house with more space for you to sleep in, I guess. Oh, is, is it Willie's day off? For the fishing rod. Eat! <laughs> I have... No food on me. So, um, I, I will eat, I promise, but when I get home. <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to do. Upgrade house. 450 pieces of wood. Okay, so we do need more wood. So I think for now, since we're going to have to do wood collection anyway, I go buy that fishing rod. Oh, oh it's Nightbot's day off. But Willy's should be open, right? Let's go see him. See if I can get that fishing rod. I'm wasting all my steps. I say wasting. Oh, you just glid there, Limpy. There you go. Limpy's found out how to reduce her steps. And that is by gliding everywhere. Please be open. Please, please be open. Open, please be open. Open, 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 open. And then we need to plant those things as well. So many things to keep track of. I definitely... I've, I've been saying this for the last, what, nine streams? What stream even is this? I don't even know anymore. Um, I've been saying this for a while now that I... Desperately need the to-do list <laughs> mod installed. And I just haven't. You know. Flamingo. Hey, Gil. Gil is the cat. Right. He is closed today so you may have been talking about nightbot but it's also willie's day off unfortunately so there was no point me running here oh bone in squashmallow is a cat <laughs> thank you lexi that has only just become apparent to me <laughs> right let's settle with this 
get myself a ridge side and get going. So Irene, the wonderful Irene. I still haven't fixed her portrait mod, but it's fine. We don't. We're not here for looks. I mean, I, I almost exclusively picked her just for her looks. <laughs> We don't need to tell anyone else about that, do we? No, neither of these are used to the community centre. Let me just plant these limpy, and then I'll be off. It was eight, so I did buy two needlessly. Oh well. It wasn't that expensive. There are far worse things I could have bought. Maybe it's everyone's day off. <laughs> Maybe. Right, I am going to eat some stuff now before... <laughs> Weedle has an aneurysm. Um, I must have some kind of snack. Raw egg? Do you reckon raw egg constitutes a snack? I must have something for snackage. Mushrooms. I'm going to go and eat mushrooms. First things first, though, I need a gift. Uh, let's take the gold one. Hang on. I am starving. You can see the energy bar going down on its own <laughs> as I'm slowly starving to death. Um, there we go. I'll just get some more. There we go. We'll be fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's not like I was stuck in the mines or really distracted. <laughs> I was a little bit distracted, I'll admit. Also, I would not advise just eating mushrooms as, as a meal and nothing else <laughs> not advisory hello welcome terence um i don't need more water right so we're going to ridgeside going to ridgeside village give out water but specifically irene needs to receive this apple um and love me but like she doesn't need to yet you know she she can love me later <laughs> I don't mind that. <laughs> that can come in time. Hi, have I given you two gifts this week? Is that the reason why it's not letting me do more? You hid a rotten fish inside his house. I seem to remember you doing something about something really smelly on my back. I still haven't forgiven you for that. I don't think I ever will. You're allergic to all mushrooms. Oh, it's a talk cutscene. Hello there, ma'am. Oh, by the way, I'm afraid both Shiro and Philip are going to have the same accent. <laughs> this looks cursed. Hunger and water bar. That's how I do things around here. <laughs> oh, hi, Doodle. Beautiful day, huh? If you're not too busy, would you like to come join us for a bit? I'm insanely busy, but I'm not skipping cutscenes here. Great. Come on over. No, no problems. Let me just teleport via black screen. It is very different from vanilla. <laughs> but it's new and interesting. Hey. Would you mind trying to play with Yuma a bit? He can be a bit shy. I think it would mean a lot to him to have someone else join. Sure. I've had several conversations with this kid. Um, and he's very sweet. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you're the best Ridgeside kid, aren't you? Yuma, why don't you introduce Doodle to your friend? I, 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 I like Yuma, but I don't like the turtle. It's Tortoise, sorry. Okay. Um, this guy is named Torts. He's a Calico Ridgeback Tortoise and he eats mostly leaves and fruit. Since he doesn't have an owner, Miss Lenny asked me and the other kids to help take care of him. She says it, he's so old, he lived in this town even w when she moved here. Did you know some species of giant tortoise can live to be over 100 years old in the wild and nearly 200 years old in captivity? You seem a lot more chatty now that we're talking about animal facts. I think you'll fit in just fine here, Yuma. <laughs> <laughs> Make everyone have the same accent. Torts isn't a giant tortoise, though. <laughs> I, don't <think. laughs> I don't think he's that old, but I think he's at least older than my grandparents. Definitely older than Shiro. How old do you think Shiro is? Why does that feel like an insult? It is. <laughs> it's like when you tell kids that you're alive before the internet, and they're like, but I thought you were alive before electricity. And you're like... <laughs> What are you talking about? They're there, Torts. <laughs> Don't be offended. Torts can be a bit distrustful around strangers, but just give him time. Um, no. Well, a lot of time. He is a tortoise after all. Apparently that made me laugh, but actually I'm rolling my eyes. <laughs> it's been more than two weeks and no 1.6 to console or mobile. Yeah. I mean, 
Concerned Ape does a lot of that stuff on his own, you know, it's not like he's got a team of 100 people working on it. So it might just take a little bit of time. But now you know it's definitely coming, whereas previously we had like no... We, we had no idea when it would when it when 1.6 was coming out um and he's he's good he, he uh concerned ape make sure to tie up all loose ends so it will definitely be coming sure seems like he'd be in his 40s <laughs> i clocked him at about maybe 28 to 30 i i didn't think i didn't think he was in his 40s but i mean if if you say so and that water right i don't really care about you people though i'm here for irene you were alive before they discovered quarks. I vaguely know what a quark is, but don't get me to explain it because I don't think I understand it well enough to explain it. Ooh. Hang on. <clears throat> An accused criminal who's not guilty according to the jury is, hmm, what's that again? I don't like this character, but we'll, we'll, we'll listen to her because she's, she's, she's my future wife's boss or one of them. Oh yes, it's an acquittal. Aria flips a card. Correct, and that's a step. Oh, that's a good way of revising, actually. Now, next question. An oral statement under oath made before an officer in response to another party's question is... Wasn't it deposition? Aria flips a card. Why, yes, it is! <laughs> that looked like a step and a half there. Similar to trial, it's a legal process taking place outside the courtroom. Um, isn't it... What was it again? Why do we have to be here for this whole thing is what I want to know. Is it <laughs> Is it bifurcation? No, wait, I think it's... Oh, right, I'm not even trying to read that word. Oh, it's arbitration. Aria, you stupid fool. No, positive self-talk. Positive self-talk. Aria, you made great f flashcards. <laughs> Best go back to the bottom, idiot. No, you're you're very smart. And also, memorizing things has nothing to do with intelligence. Farmer, look. I mean, if you're trying to memorize things, you could. I was about to say you could start with my name. Look at this. I feel so much better. It looks like if Daphne from Scooby Doo was a medieval person. <laughs> you're so right. And she, yeah, <laughs> you're so spot on. Grandmother has a meeting with Lenny. I assume you're visiting because of some sort of business with her. Wait, is that woman not your mum? Is that your grandmother? I thought it was your mum. That would be such a good compliment if, if she was a marriageable character. Go find Sunny for that matter. If you don't mind, please leave me be. I'm busy. I'm already stupid. I'm sure you... Uh, I sure won't be getting any smarter if I spend another second doing anything else besides studying. Right... Just don't be too hard on yourself, okay? I wish. I mean, it's something that you can literally change yourself. Even if you don't believe it. You start start saying positive things to yourself. Even if you don't believe it, you, you just gotta start. And at some point... Oh, yes! Here we go, here's the main attraction! <laughs> the main attraction. I am the worst. Also, I know Irene's... Um, portrait isn't working i'm very sorry about that i will get it working at some point it's yeah this amount of wait hang on what voice would irene have i'm just gonna give her my voice this amount of garnish should be enough wait is it hmm what's up hello i'm here i bring you an apple doodle i didn't see you there pardon me i was applying the finishing touches to an experimental dish of mine look it l looks odd I think it's missing something though. It's it's missing us both kissing right now. <laughs> I'll have another bite. Hey dude, taste it with me. Oh, an indirect kiss. Amazing. Are we sharing the same fork? No, it doesn't look like it. We're doing separate ones. Oh wow, goodness gracious me. Yeah, I don't deserve this woman. <laughs> look at her. Sniffing it and delicately taking sips, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> it's possible, but I think. What's up? I, I thought it was great. I'd eat your cooking any day. Irene seems to be looking at the dish intensely. Yep, I think it needs this. What? Pickles. When in doubt, pickles. <laughs> A bit of pink salt and... 
Come on, Irene. Come on, Irene. <laughs> There's that missing flavor. It was just missing salt. <laughs> Go on, doodle. Try it now. It should be better than before. Uh, please give me buffs. I hope this food is genuinely food that is increasing my hunger bar. That would make me very happy. I'm glad to see that reaction. I'm experimenting with new dishes because I want to impress a certain someone. This doesn't mean she's not bi. <laughs> All that we have proved here is she has a crush. We have, you know, she has a crush on somebody and she's not exclusively into women. That's all that we've established here. <laughs> what we have established is she's not in a relationship. <laughs> I'm the worst in video games. Oh, huh? Who? Well, don't tell anyone, okay? Yeah, tell me who it is so I can... It's Mr. Zane. Wait, I'm looking it up on Google. Hang on. Uh, Zane. <laughs> Aren't you Ridge? So, no, don't don't worry, Irene. Don't 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 worry worry about a thing, Irene. I'm not just looking up. I'm just finding out. Hang on. Uh, part of the mansion. Sometimes comes to visit the mansion. Currently not home. Currently not here. And uh, then scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't say when he turns up, but we have time. <laughs> doesn't currently live here. Irene squeals softly. Look, the master of the house is out at the moment. <laughs> You're on hinges. Dude does open wide. Oh no. She has a crush on someone that isn't you. That's okay. Miss Aya's cousin and Mr. Louis's older brother. I don't know if you've met him. I haven't, and you should be thankful I haven't met him. Sometimes he comes home to the mansion. We first met during one of his visits when I was bringing his grandmother, I mean, Madame Mauve, her tea. It's so, he's so yo but darn handsome. Is it my hat that's putting you off? Do I need a new hat? Irene squeals softly again. It really hurts my soul. But all we have to do is be a viable option that's on par with somebody that's gonna inherit a mansion that's not that hard he he works in a, a giant corporation he's heir to a mansion he's good looking we can do those things at some point <laughs> maybe not the good looking one that's kind of more luck based but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my face turns red whenever I think about the time we shook hands. Irene scores softly again. Alright, three times is a bit much. Three times a charm. Okay, compose yourself, Irene. Woo! <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for taste testing the dish with me, Doodle. Also, Doodle, don't tell anyone about my crush, okay? D uh, d does my stream chat count? I need to perfect my dishes first. I'll be waiting for his next visit to the mansion. Hey, if you see him arrive at the village, give me a heads up, okay? I I, I will give give a heads up. It won't be one that you like, though. <laughs> uh, Doodle, why don't you go shopping with me? I'm not carrying a shopping bag, small child. You inherited a huge farm from your gramps. Have you seen this mansion? I'm having to, like, run around the swimming pool to go and talk to Irene. <laughs> Where even is she? Is she in their massive greenhouse? Or maybe their ginormous dining room that belongs to that guy? <laughs> I'm not insecure, you are. Also, I don't even think Irene is here. I think I just saw that cutscene and then that's it. Hang on, we'll, we'll leave? Wait, how, how do I leave? That's as good as a mansion, right? I would argue it's better than a mansion. However, they can grow stuff in their mansion, so. Um, oh, she's over there. She's over there. Right, we're tracking her down. <laughs> I've got a GPS Snapchat location. <laughs> the worst. I'll tell you what, if I was Irene, I wouldn't date me. I've done nothing but extremely creepy behavior the entire time I've known her. Where's the location? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I'm so sad. But also, it's not over yet. Hello. It's not over until you've got a ring on your finger, okay? It, it, <laughs> take this apple. <laughs> there we go. This is what Irene usually looks like. Now you guys can understand the re part of the reasons why I'm chasing her. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I like running on the trail sometimes. Wait, I, I've just decided on an accent for her. Near the ridge sometimes. It gives me the fresh air I need during my break times. I was I was going to start going to park run. I was talking about it at the beginning of the stream. Would you want to go park run with me? We could run around the park together. It's only five kilometers. I'm sure you could do it. It's about the same distance as a loop around this town. Please come back. Okay, here you go. Have some water. Nice. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Let's go give out some gifts at Pika's. And I'll try not to think about how my heart feels. <laughs> oh, chat. It's a sad day. Oh, there she is again. She's everywhere I look. Yeah, I'm not talking to you. I'm, I'm, I'm not really in a people mood today. <laughs> Please stop following me. Right, there we go. Now all the people are turning up. You get water, you get water, you get water. If I'm if I'm the most popular person in town, maybe it'll improve my chances with, with Irene. You know, all I need to do is become an amazing businessman, build a massive house, um, be financially stable and mentally stable, um, be the most popular person in the entire village that everybody loves, um, and maybe look better than that dude that she has a crush on and then we'll be fine we'll be fine i wish wait i wish lewis would be a bit more open about his love life lenny lenny i wish you'd talk to him about this instead of talking to me about this i'm his sister i don't want to pry but if he won't tell me anything what else can i do pry pry for our sake for Marnie's sake, you didn't hear that from me, but Pry, please, we're begging you. I want it to happen. I hope it's an actual cutscene. You look a little tired, dear. I recommend the hotel if you're looking for a little R&R. &R. That means rest and relaxation. I learned that the other day. <laughs> Do you know what lol means? It means lots of love. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> you only have to do all those things if Irene doesn't prefer personality, though. We've already established that in this specific playthrough, my personality is trash. <laughs> I am creepy, clingy, and did I say creepy? Creepy? I'm creepy. <laughs> but I'm really good at giving compliments. <laughs> That's a lie. I'm also not great at giving compliments. It's Look, it'll be fine, okay? I don't need personality to <laughs> woo Irene. I can do it with everything else. <laughs> Ooh, hang on, Alyssa. There we go. Boy, am I glad I was able to finish up my chores today. I don't even know what you do all day, but. <laughs> I'm glad we're all on the same page about me and Irene. And by same page, <laughs> I have a chance, okay? There is a world in which we date. And it's gonna be this one, I'm gonna make it happen. Look. My my current partner, who I love very much, his name is Ev, most of you know him. Um, I asked him out four times before he agreed. <laughs> Over the course of a year, it wasn't like back to back, I wasn't pestering him. I mean, I was pestering him. Is is still pestering, even if it's over a year. Um, I'm just saying, sometimes persistence. <laughs> Look, if, if if somebody outright says no, then it means no. However, he said that he liked me, but he wasn't ready for a relationship yet, so I just kept asking. But I know Irene isn't the same. Look, this is a very awkward tight tightrope that I'm trying to walk here. What I'm trying to say is, I'll keep it up with Irene and everything will be fine. <laughs> we just give her opportunities to see what we're like. And then if she change her, changes her mind, that's on her. Yeah, I'm a scumbag in this game. Theory me. The monsters are leaving me alone and I'm not sure why. Usually they're swarming me on my farm at this point. 
Actually, technically, I just realised. Technically, I only asked Ev out three times because the fourth time he asked me out. And I had fully given up on him at that point. So maybe that's a trick. Maybe I gotta go after Irene and then not go after Irene. Not really how Stardew Valley works. I would love it if you could be asked out in Stardew Valley. Like if your if your hearts got above a certain level with somebody, they asked you out, and then you had like a kind of awkward confession: Do I accept? Do I reject you? Thing. And then if you reject them, maybe their hearts go down by one or something. I don't really know how it would work, but I think, I think it would add a lot to the game. Modders? Any modders in chat? <laughs> how cool would that be? This music is jazzy. Hopefully it's not too loud. Oh, I've nearly chopped all the trees on my farm. This is exciting. Not too much longer and we'll have a clear field. Oh, there's the there's the monsters. Get away from me. You're so rude. No, no, leave me alone, bats. Hacha. Look what you made me do. You made me chop my grass. I'm growing that for winter. <laughs> I do need to build a silo. Oh my goodness, I need to build a silo. The music is jazzy. You're going to be mean to it. Yeah, it's got a major attitude problem. <laughs> Damn, poor Jazz. She's not even here and she gets bullied. It always happens. Right. Homeward. Not quite enough wood, but we're close now. Oh, I should run on my nice path that I've made. Yes, nice pathy wathy Silos. Ugh. I'm gonna have to go build a silo, aren't I? That's copper. Oh, what is it? It's like wood, copper, clay, something. Is it five copper? It's something. I haven't got over the steps, have I? No, I'm fine. I'm a thousand under. Okay, I will. I will. I'll drink some water. We'll go to bed. And then tomorrow, I'm going to build something. Hopefully, maybe the silo, if I'm feeling like being nice to my chickens. <sighs> oh. On a roll. On a roll. Rolly wooly. Ooh, roses. Lovely. Sell those. Could give them out as gifts. Probably should give them out as gifts. But alas. Right. No! I need more sprinklers. I need gold and refined quartz for that. I think I have quite a bit of quartz, so that shouldn't be a problem. So the main problem is going to be the gold situation, in which case I need to go back to the mines. I probably need to upgrade my pick at some point because mining in there with a with a iron pick is kind of painful. Still though, considering at the start of this series, I was like, this is not going to be about progress. This is going to be about making friends with the rich side characters and taking steps. I have also done quite a bit of vanilla game progress compared to my usual. What year are you on? Year one. Year one autumn seventh you know this is this is early game early game bees knees we have been in game for about two seasons and seven days but you know that's what i mean that's what i'm saying like i'm i'm doing okay like it <laughs> could be a lot worse uh in fact i'm pretty sure yeah other series where i've actively been trying to do good i've done worse so yeah not bad <laughs> limpy Come hither. Didn't fall to the roses, but it'll be fine. Going on an adventure to try and build a silo. And I'm going to quickly look at my hearts with everybody. Carmen's at five. Alyssa's at five. Anton's at five. Kareen, Irene, Pika, Faye, Lenny, Ezekiel, Shanice, Fleur, Kenneth, goodness, Paula, Kiara, Bert are all at four. And then at three is Isabel, Sean, Ian, Aria, or Aya, Lola, Mr. Agua, Lorenzo, 
Kelly, Trini, and then everybody else is two or under. I'm not going to read the rest of them. But yeah, we're doing really well. Really, really well. I need to check when the autumn festival is, I guess. Here we go. 16. I am just very quickly going to blow my nose. I never fully got over that illness from before because I was having uh, nose related problems like a month ago and it kind of never went away. So I'm hoping this isn't just my new normal. <laughs> I'm hoping maybe once I've like the sun comes out in the UK and I can spend some time outside and actually absorb vitamin D and stuff, um, maybe I'll start feeling better. <clears throat> it only seems to really, oh, of course, I don't really notice it until I'm streaming either. Silo is five copper bars. <gasps> okay, well, I'll look at the prices of everything anyway since we're here. Not worth wasting steps to go back right now. Make sure that we've got absolutely everything. So, barn is 6,000. So we could, technically, get a barn right now, which would make winter more interesting. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Silo is five copper bar. So we, we should go and get a copper bar, really. Cabin's not interested. Stable not getting. Slime Hutch not interested. Deluxe Coop. Ouchies. Okay. That's the barn. I'm just making sure that this music is actually from my playlist. <laughs> it is. It's just a more recent ad addition. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go and get that silo stuff then. The back way. There we go. Couldn't see you for a minute there, chat. Also eat. Yeah, I will eat. I've got mushies on me. I'll eat it now. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I can smell Evs cooking the curry. That's making me so hungry. I, this might be the last Stardew Valley day. I'm sorry. Ev might have just ended this stream. <laughs> I think when I get to the end of this Stardew Valley day, that's going to have to be it. Because, oh my goodness, it smells great. And I'm so hungry. As I said, I, I haven't really eaten anything today. Um, ooh, lots of jam to sell. That's very nice. However, I am nearly out of strawberries. Oh no, I've got loads of blueberries, so that's fine. So what we're going to do is take all of this out. Grab some coal. That's not the right chest. That's not the right chest. <laughs> and we'll chuck these in here. That should take almost no time whatsoever to do. So now I can put everything back in. No, not the jam. I need to sell the jam. Completely fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I would be fine. I was like, oh yeah, I, I can go for another few Stardew Valley days and I smelled it and then everything changed. Hey, Libby. Is the copper done? Did you keep an eye on it for me? Not quite yet. We'll wait here like this. Copper takes like no time at all. So, oh no, hang on. <laughs> time pauses when I open the chest. Not, not a smart bean today. But, um, there we go. Yes, so I think next week I will be taking a very brief break from the Stardew Valley streams. I'll go this way, actually. Um, but only for one week and then they'll be back again. It's just so that I can keep up with running. Because <laughs> as you've seen, pretty much every single stream now, with, with the shorter runs that I've been going on, I'm getting through like six runs per stream <laughs> in terms of the amount of steps that I'm using. Oh, speaking of, how many steps have I got left? 600. Okay, we're going to have to take it easy today anyway. Because I want to make sure I don't uh, have, to, <laughs> have to die again. Uh, construct farm buildings. Where is that silo? Yay! Let's put it down here by the, by the chickadees. Oh, it doesn't fit. Here? Oh, this is painful. 
painful, painful situation. I could put it there. Let's put it here for now. Let's put it on the other side. I'll be fine. I will be putting the barn over there at some point, but not right now. Thank you, Robin. That's all I needed from you right now. I am going to chop some more trees and stuff. Um, I don't have my fishing rod on me, do I? Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach each. Let's go get away and see if Willy has a fishing rod. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's expensive, though. I think that fishing rod is like 8,000 or something, isn't it? It's like 8,500 or something ridiculous. Not looking forward to that. Keep an eye on the steps. Once they start getting towards 700, that's when I'm going to start panicking. <laughs> Sorry, I mean 59,600. 700. I can't even... Numbers, man. Numbers. Hey! You're getting a good walk today, Limpy. You can say hi to Gil. Oh, Carmen. This is why Carmen likes me. <laughs> Every time I go to the beach, I'm just like, Hey, Carmen, have this. Carmen yawns. I think I'll sleep after I fish a bit. That sounds like a nice day. Make sure you shower in between, though. Nothing worse than fish sludge. Right. Okay, it's not as expensive as I thought, but it is painfully expensive. <laughs> um, I do have some bobbers at home. And some bait, though. Oh, my money. <laughs> it's going to take a, a few days um, for us to have that silo built anyway. So I got time to build up 10 grand again. Move, pelican! <laughs> Screaming at the pelicans now. Right, still got enough steps left, I think, to go to my farm, chop trees, and then maybe fish for the rest of the day. And then I think that'll be all the steps that I've got. Because I messed up. I should have added more steps. How many have I got now? 300 left. 300 steps isn't much, isn't much. It's very scary. Right. Tree chopping first. Uh, I don't have any snackies though, do I? Snackies first. Because once I'm down there, I don't want to be running back and forth. Because that's that's going to lead lead to bad times and sadness. Hello, any mushrooms for me? Yes. Hello, any mushrooms for me? Yes. Wonderful, that should be enough. Get a nice... Nice fishing set out of the way. I would also, I think I've got a bobber that I could put on this fishing rod, but I'm not going to bother, but bobber right now. I'm not very funny right now. <laughs> to no one's surprise. Right. I need to leave about 100 steps to get back. So that means I've got 100 steps that I can use. Oh, risky bees, niece. Risky bees, niece. I need to remember that when I'm editing the videos as well. Is to include the times where I nearly didn't make it. There we go. Trees. Yeah, we have enough wood now to upgrade our house. We just don't have enough money. So I am poor now. And this tree. Look how close to the river we are though. We're so nearly there. It's amazing! When we run back at the end of the day, I'll zoom out so we can see the farm progress. It makes me happy having a clear farm. I like having specific areas for trees on my farm, don't get me wrong, but I like having them like laid out in a in a organized and clearly man-made fashion. Permaculture. That's what they call it. More of a permaculture as opposed to a forest. Or woodland, I suppose it would be. Look at that, I know the word permaculture. <laughs> it's odd. Whenever I, I try and think of specific words, my brain always pulls a blank. Um, and yet sometimes I just come out with with <laughs> the fanciest things. All right, I've got about 150 steps left, but this should be fine now. We're going to do some fishing. We're going to stock up for the next stream. So I've got a nice amount of food. That's my plan. I think it's a good plan. So we can hit the ground running. 
and I might also uh, ask the Discord before the next stream, like what you guys want me to do. Um, so if you're not in the Discord, link is in the description. I know we had some some new people joining recently, but I am going to be asking for more input on series and other things there soon. That's a largemouth bass and some geodes. I didn't realise you could catch largemouth bass. Does this count as a lake? This must count as a lake. I thought this was a river. I guess I was assuming that from the shape of it. I'm guessing maybe... No, there is a Riverlands map. And that definitely counts as a river. So who knows? Don't know why I call a largemouth bass there, but I did. And it's already getting dark and I forgot the monster spawn on the farm. So this isn't going to be a fun situation <laughs> getting home. Gonna be dodging monsters left, right, etc. What are you? A salmon. Is that vanilla game? It must be. I said the same thing with the tuna. I was like, oh, tuna, is that modded? And everyone was like, no, that's in the base game. I was like, oh, oh, I don't fish very much. <laughs> but I do when the survivalistic mod is involved. Oh my goodness. Maybe not for long. Maybe not for long. I should have, well, I, everybody always, always like, make friends with Linus and, and get the sashimi recipe. And I should have done it, but I'm pretty sure salmon is vanilla i really don't fish very much i'm pretty sure sashimi gives you as much uh saturation in terms of hunger as eating fish raw certain fish not all of them obviously um so i don't know if it's 100 percent worth it like it's it's definitely worth it for the less good fish let's just put it that way but for for the good fish you you'd get just as much energy either way not energy hunger why do it anyway <laughs> And most of the food I am collecting is for the hunger bar. It's only when I go mining that I also sometimes need it for the energy bar as well. But it's fine, because soon I will be able to make fried eggies. Or I might just turn it all into mayo and sell it. That also sounds like a nice option. I am hunger. Eat before you go to bed also. Yes. 100%. Good shout catch a couple more fish and then I think monsters are going to start attacking me. They usually start coming out at about 8pm. So we've got a tiny little bit of time, but not too much. This is very relaxing, chill music. What is this part of? Let me just have a quick little look. Lon Lon Branch. It's a Legend of Zelda. Log End of Zorda apparently. I don't think I've played this Legend of Zelda game. I was looking into playing Skyward Sword. Um, yet to fully decide if I'm going to play it or not. Because um, for those of you that weren't there for it, I played Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. It was an entire playthrough and oh boy it was long. <laughs> that was a hefty game. And I looked up how long Skyward Sword is and it's about the same length. So I'm, I'm still in the process of deciding if I want to commit to that right now. Um, unsure. Also, I just, I just saw you said, um, eat before you go to bed in real life and in game. Oh, I will be eating as soon as this stream ends. I'm going to sprint downstairs and be like, where's my curry? <laughs> Give me the curry. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, maybe that's why Ev ran upstairs panicked earlier because he needed the to use the bathroom but he was cooking at the same time i hope that's what it was and not that i'm gonna go downstairs and everything has gone wrong <laughs> it's fine if it has but i mean i would rather obviously i'd rather that ever's fine um i can't help myself i need it what if it's a dino egg what if that'd be a great way to end the stream with a dino egg come on you know you want to Ooh, okay. I won't say no to an artifact, though. And I've already got this artifact, but I will take it anyway. And I think pine cones are the ones I have the most of. No! Right, I said I was going to zoom out. So we can look at the farm on the way back. And all the monsters. Here's how it's looking. we got a few trees left. All right, I'm trying to show people around. <laughs> You're being rude, Bat. But yes, it is looking, other than the holes in my path and various other things, 
It is looking very orange, but very clear and very nice. Yes, Limpy, are you stuck behind that rock, Limpy? Shall I free you? Shall I free you, Limpy? <gasps> I'm so sorry. Come with me into the house. Right, let me zoom back in. This looks ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, I need to eat, don't I? But that is where I'm going to leave the stream. If you haven't already given the stream a lick, a little licky licky, uh, please do so that I know that you appreciate it and you want to see more streams like this. Sorry for being so zoned today. Um, it was a hefty day, but I, I didn't want to cancel the stream because I was feeling streaming. I just knew it was going to be a bit of a lower energy one. Um, things should be back up and normal next week. And uh, I will see you all next time. Bye, peeps. Bye-bye.